Zesties, I'm Michelle May and welcome or welcome back to my channel Zesty Girl. It's Monday morning, I'm about to get ready for work. I just thought I'd share with you last night's meal prep. It was huge, it was really huge and I've really, to be honest, I've only really just finished cleaning the kitchen completely. Got the children off to school, now I'm about to start work and yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you the video that I made last night, which is meal prep. So if you want to see this video, then it's massive, massive meal prep, so easy, so quick but massive. I'm excited. So if you want to see how I do this, then let's do this. Okay, we're starting out with the Lilydale drumsticks and I'm just going to throw them into this huge bag and add tamari soy sauce, then some maple syrup and then a whole bunch of chopped garlic. And you can see I don't chop anything finely, I just chop, chop, chop and throw it in. Like that's how I cook, I just don't worry too much about making things beautiful. So here it all is in the bag and I'm just going to add the other chicken drumsticks as well. Then I'm just going to throw a bit more um, soy sauce in there just to make sure there's plenty in there and pat it all down, splish it all around and then I'm going to let that sit for two hours. No, probably not two hours, probably just an hour I'd say and then I'll get that cooking. But in the meantime, I'm going to get going on some mints I've got. Some beef mints. Okay, so here we go. And the purpose of today is to really use up all the leftover bits and bobs from the fridge and from the freezer. So I found some pak choy. It was a bundle of four, so now there's like one and a half left. So I'll chop that up. I found a red capsicum, so I'm gonna use that as well and two lots of half bottles of this pasta sauce. So I'm gonna use all of that up in this um, mince pasta dish that I'm doing. So let's have a look at it. I found actually some leftover cooked broccoli as well, so I threw that in. And it's looking gorgeous and delicious. I'm gonna start cooking the pasta, and of course I'm doing gluten-free because it's just got to be versatile, so I'm using gluten-free. Then I'm checking the fridge and seeing what else I can cook up. I've just got a couple of the muffins out of the freezer for tomorrow's breakfast and I'm cleaning up as I go because I've got a huge Costco and Aldi haul coming up so all the dirty bits I'm just cleaning up and using up all the bits and bobs. So here's the pasta. I found this tiny bit of bacon so I'm going to cook it up with a bit of pasta I found from last night, a bit of cooked pasta. A little bit of ham there, throw it all in with a bit more cooked broccoli, a bit of cream that I got today from my grocery haul and a little bit of shredded <laughs> shredded cheese and there we have a creamy pasta and of course as soon as the boys saw this they said that's what we're having for dinner so that pretty much all went last night except for a small bit that I put away for some meal prep this smelt I put some garlic in here too this was so delicious I had a little spoonful myself but the boys they just love it love their creamy pasta here it is ready to go Okay, so the pasta's ready and I'm going to assemble the pasta bake. But first I'm just going to go outside and check the weather and see how my pork's going. Oh, delicious. Look at that. Sizzling away. Okay, so I'm assembling the pasta together. It looks amazing. Everyone's coming past saying, can I have some? And I'm like, no, just wait. It's for meal prep. And then I'm about to put in the drumsticks into the oven. I've got two trays and in they go. Now I'm cutting up some chicken breast, getting ready for my chicken curry. So there's two kilos to cut up and I don't worry too much about it, I just sort of cut it up quickly and there it is. Ellie's waiting very patiently to see if she's going to get some. That face, that little face, look at it, oh, do you want me to flick her some? No, I won't. Okay, it's going in the pot, and I'm cooking it in a big pot today. I normally do it in a fry pan, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to do it in a big pot and see if it works better with two kilos of chicken. So here it is sizzling away. I found a couple of potatoes, so I'm just cutting those up as well because they can just get thrown into the oven. And here is the pork. We decided it's a bit red, so we put it out again. It's needed to cook a little bit more. And the curry's going in with the chicken and the tomatoes, two tins of tomatoes, two tins of coconut cream, Splosh it all into the pot. Now I'm looking for some vegetables that still need to be eaten. I find some kale. Right, we're going to cut this kale up. I've got a few mushrooms left from last week. So I'm going to cut all these vegetables up and plonk them into my curry. Then I found the last bit of the broccoli, the cooked broccoli, so that's going to go in as well. Looking delicious. 
I also find some corn in the fridge that I forgot about, so I'm gonna throw that in the oven with the chicken and the potatoes. Oh, the chicken's ready, look at that, amazing. I didn't know if it was gonna turn out great, but it really, really did. And I had it for dinner last night and they were so juicy and so tasty and I was just excited about them. These ones I had a little bit too much of the marinade in the pan when I put it in, so they were a little bit more burnt, but not, not really. So yeah, success. Okay, I'm cooking a big, big pot of rice because we need a lot of rice tonight. Normally I do it in the microwave. So how's our fridge looking? Is it looking cleared out? I've just put the yogurts from my grocery haul in there and the little bits that I picked up today in that small tide me over grocery haul. See a few cucumbers, a few tomatoes. We've still got some eggs from last grocery haul. Here's the new salad things I bought today. A few avocados are left. Some figs and a couple of carrots. And I have to clean this drawer. Okay, here I've found a couple of bolognese sauces from the other day and some turkey breast steaks. These need to be eaten as well. So whatever is left over at this stage, I am just throwing it in here and just cooking it up. And I'm gonna add not only the pasta sauce, I'm gonna add a splash of coconut milk to make it sort of creamy. Lots of kale, I found another red capsicum and then I'm using the new vegetable stir fry that I got from Coles today. So I'll put a little bit of that in for a bit of color. The pork is ready. It's been sitting resting. How good does that look? It's delicious. So I'm going to slice all this up and um, get it ready. Okay, my husband was really super hungry and I was like, I just wanna keep going with this and so I made him his meal. So that's pork, roast potatoes, the roast corn and some salad. And I'm just pointing here to the pork because I said to him, I'm not sure, it was quite juicy, but I said if you wanna put some sauce on or something, you can do that. And I'm finished. Look at this, amazing. So the chicken drumsticks, you can see the pork, the massive chicken curry, the pasta bake, the vegetable, healthy vegetable and turkey uh, dish in the corner there, that one there. That'll be for Jessica and myself because it's super, super healthy. Pasta bake, massive chicken curry, beautiful pork to be eaten during the week and chicken drumsticks. Now let me start to get this all prepped. Okay, so into containers for the boys for lunches and for their dinner and for whoever wants to grab something. We've got the pasta bake and I'm gonna do all of the chicken curries. And there's so much chicken curry, I'm so excited about it. The chicken drumsticks are gonna be used for snacks, perfect for snacking on for the boys when they're hungry, just a quick protein snack. And you can see here how much, or how many I should say, meals I got out of this meal prep. So you're probably thinking, where do I put it all? Oh, the pork, I'm gonna use the pork for wraps, I'm gonna use the pork for pork salads, I'm gonna use the pork for maybe a meal, maybe a pasta dish, I'm not sure, but I just like to have meat on hand, especially with my boys at the moment. I just love meal prepping. You probably get the idea that I actually usually have no plan, no plan at all, I just sort of like wing it, and it always turns out, so I'm excited about that. And that's all, so it's gonna go into the fridge and Yes, that is everything used up. I don't like any wastage, so this is the way that I use up everything that we need to after last week's grocery haul. And this provides me meals for a couple of days and it gives me the time to then decide when I want to go grocery shopping based on what I've got on now that school's back and sports back and everything. It just gives me, and with work, it just gives me a bit more, just a bit more, what's the word? Let's just have a quick look before we go at it all stacked in the fridge ready for the week ahead. Let's go, here it is. Now that's a lot of meals, right? The muffins are there for breakfast tomorrow. And here it is. And there's even some, I think I'm gonna show you, yes, I'm gonna pull these out and there's even some, there's about six stacked in behind as well. So, if you like chicken curry, come over. Now I am a super, 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 super messy cook. I make such a mess and I'll show you. Someone said, please show us. Okay, here we go. This is my mess. There we go. Confessions of a messy cook. 
I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. See ya. Bye.